Antonio Karani Moremi, the current chairman of Kenya Association of Music Producers. I'm serving my second and last term as a director of Kam, having been elected twice. Well, music has been my passion since I was here, and I became a producer of music in 2003, based in Liver Road. I've been producing music, different kinds of music, including secular, gospel, and even traditional music. Initially, my passion was in film. So I'm both in film and music, which, which are things that I love most in life. So I'm doing, I, I'm doing what I love most. Being in music is, is not only my passion, by then, but now it has become my profession. It was obvious that I would get into music because of the passion I had inside. I was burning inside to do something in music. And then I was doing it when I was still employed as a part-time job, but eventually it became, it became a permanent job for me. I did my first film in 2005, which was a, 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 an English film, Wages of Sin. Before then I had done some vernacular, uh, vernacular films, this, uh, those, those films that we are producing in Liver Road. And I had several of them. I had like five vernacular films, and then I did my, my the, the, the full, full feature film called, name, named Wages of Sins in 2005. Okay, the film was, film was not paying very well because the returns were very slow. And, and Kenyans had, uh, uh, I had to embrace the, film, the Kenyan films, but music was doing well. I could venture into music, local music and even international music. I did Bogo music. I was the first to bring Bogo music in Kenya in 2007. I worked with Tanzanian music like Matonya, Iwai, Mwanaefe, and Malo. And, 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 and Arikiba also was now coming up by then. So I, I, I brought lo, 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 Bogo music in Kenya. And you see even today, Bogo music is a hit. So I, after my introduction, I'm proud to say I, pro, I, I, I produce something that can, Kenyans can align with. Kenyans loved that music. I've done music for even the likes of Actually, I was a distributor in Kenya, but I was acquiring the rights of the, those music. So I could get the music, buy it, buy the rights of the music, and then become the sole distributor in Kenya, and uh, with authority to, to work with the music, in anyhow, to get back my, my investment. Yes. I also worked with Kidum. I was distributing for Kidum, and I acquired the rights for, for Kidum album, Mapenzi. Well, even today people have not understood about the publishing. They are still, uh, they are still thinking, think, uh, they are still in the woods. So to get them out, you need a lot of education to teach people what is production, what is distribution, and what is publishing. Because they also they tend to think that once you get music, you acquire all the rights. But music has different lights. It's the production lights, the publishing lights, and then they, they, are, they are different. But once you finance music, you finance the production of music, you become the producer of that music. And that's how you get to be a member of camp because you are the, first, the person who made it possible for that music to be aired or to be, to be, to be recorded by virtue of investing in that music. So basically in camp, we have investors. You don't have to own a studio to become a producer, but you can finance through other studios. For example, myself, I don't have a studio, but I'm a producer. I've gone to studios, I've financed studio productions for many people.
That's how I become a producer. Once you finance, you become the producer. And you have the rights of production. Because if it weren't for, for that financing, that music would have, have not seen the right of the day. Yes, that's, your, that's the part that producers put, play, making it possible for the song to be produced. There are basically many, many music, musicians that, that, they are, that may have music, but they have no capacity to produce them, or to make them available to the market. So by, by making it possible, you really help as a producer to make that music available. If it weren't for that, for that, for that investment, Maybe that music would have never seen the light of the day, or we'd still be struggling with the music at home.